we were talking about trade sale and under this option normally there is a public tender that is issued where they say that some part of the airport or sometimes even the entire airport they desire to sell the airport to a new trade partner or sometimes to a consortium of investors so obviously when there is a public tender the highest bidder will win the tender and the you know the ten the agreement would be signed there will be subsequent agreement tender would be allotted awarded in fact awarded is a word so tender would be awarded and then later on you know relevant agreements would be signed and so on and so forth so the highest bidder of the tender would be the one who would be able to bring in the highest investment into the business because that's how they have uh, you know according to the bid that they have made so the highest bidder of course would be able to bring the highest investment into the into the business so example of trade sale is the brussels airport which is partially privatized through this mode of trade sale this mode of privatization that is trade sale brussels airport is an example now the consortium in this model normally comprises of airport management as i just said earlier some time back it consists of specialists domestic and foreign banks or engineering firms or certain legal experts or you know certain or combined uh, some other experts maybe from probably even from the construction industry apart from the other engineering firms aeronautical engineering and so on and these combined expertise would get together and form a consortium which would actually attract private capital so now what is better ipo that is share flotation or trade sales well that depends upon how well the airport or even the airlines are performing and the rationale behind the decision of privatization the reason behind or the purpose of privatization why do they want privatization so that of course it depends upon that so what is better what is better i mean share flotation or trade sales so again the answer is you will have to search for the purpose of privatization why has the management decided for you know going ahead with privatization why at all did they decide so the rationale behind the decision of privatization and you know how the airport or airlines is currently performing however generally speaking by and large trade sale seems to be a better option than share flotation and the reason for that is in trade sale new management comes in and takes over along with a huge investment that has poured in so confidence of course and the performance of the airport is stimulated to the next level and how does this happen in a straight trade sale the buying party undertakes detailed due diligence of the airport i'm sure you are aware of due diligence due diligence of airport and studies the risks associated with the purchase due diligence is an important factor for any purchase or normally due diligence has it's, it's part of compliance due diligence is normally performed you know whenever any decisions have to be made and yearly you know the companies are into habit of having this due diligence checkups and filing due diligence reports so in a trade sale of course the buying party it's, it's a crucial decision the buying party would undertake detailed due diligence of the airport and studies the risks associated with the purchase so financial and operation structures can be changed with trade sale which may not always be possible with an ipo or share flotation because it depends upon how much percentage of shares is actually brought into the stock market however in an ipo the op and uh, yet another factor is in in case of an ipo there is you know it's highly possible that the first priority is normally given to the management of the company and they would ask them to invest in the shares so however uh, you know in in case of uh, you, you know trade sales you expect a new management that comes in and takes over and there is huge investment that pours in because it's normally a takeover entirely so therefore in an ipo the operations of company are more reliant on the structure itself or existing management whose performance may be more or less the same or at the most it may develop to just a little next level but not as what is expected in a trade sale so trade sale example i said is brussels airport the next is concession model so under this model through a tendering process the privatized airport will be taken on and and there will be an agreement of either lease or purchase a concession for a definite period of 30 or 50 years by a consortium again or airport management company i'm repeating in a concession model there would be either you know 
a lease or a purchase on concession basis for a definite a purchase agreement on a concession basis would be drawn for a definite period of 30 years or 50 years. Now, it will be taken up by whom? By a consortium or an airport management company. So a striking feature of this model or concession agreement is the allocation of risk between the airport operator and the government. Now this sentence has to be here. So between the airport operator and the government. So the risks associated with operating financing the airport and the traffic could be handed over to the airport operator. For example, here is the agreement between GVK and others on one hand and the Mumbai airport in India on the other. So this is, you know, if you go to Mumbai airport everywhere, you would, you would see GVK is managed by GVK. So there is an agreement. It's, a, it's an, you know, th this is the kind of an agreement, a concession agreement that is there between GVK and others on one hand and Mumbai airport on the other. So under this arrangement, the privatized airport is handed over only for a fixed period, thereby the government owner has a greater degree of control than it would have under an outright sale. And the benefit here is in terms of either the regular annual revenue stream or the upfront payment received, the amount that they give you know, immediately upon the lease or even purchase by concession and so on. This Mumbai model would also, you know, it reflects the character characteristics of even the next aspect, what we are going to study, in fact, about the, um, yeah, it, it comes even within the ambit of this. So the, the, it has a side, sort of features of both, but primarily it comes under the concession model. Next, we have the project finance or BOT. So under this arrangement, a redevelopment company will come forward and it will either redevelop or even build an entirely new terminal or probably it would, uh, you know, whatever structure is there, it would demolish it and build entirely a new structure. It would revamp the existing structure or build entirely a new term terminal and then operate it for a definite period as may be contracted for a particular period according to the agreement that they may have, which may be for more than two or three decades. So such a company may be again operating as a PPP. What is PPP? Public-Private Partnership. Or they form a PPE, that is Public-Private Enterprise. Or maybe they could be even totally private. So after the period, that is whatever is mentioned in the contract, the control will revert back to the, or revert to the government. It will go back to the government, that is a public sector. An example of this is a 25-year bot project to develop a new terminal for Queen Alia International Airport in Amman in Jordan in the year 2007. So yet another example is the Athens Airport, which was built under a 30-year bot arrangement. And the Greek government today holds 55% of the shares in the company Athens International Airport, SAAIA, and the remaining share of 45% belongs to an international consortium, which is led by the Avia Alliance. The fifth and the last part of this model of, of privatization in the list of the models is, of course, the management contract. Now, in India, Bangalore Airport is operating under this arrangement. That's an example as a form of consortium with GMR Malaysia for 30 years, beginning in the year 2004. So there was this management contract. So under this management contract, you know, sometimes this management contract can be for minimum 10 years or more. But with the example that I gave you about India's Bangalore airport, they have, you know, an arrangement for 30 years. That is from 2004 to which it will go on to 2034. So a management contract minimum can be for 10 years or more. And the ownership here remains with the government. And the contractor takes over the responsibility for the operations of the airport. And in this case, the annual management fee is paid by the government to the contractor under this agreement for the operational performance of the airport or the contractor may pay the government a share of its revenue. So however, whatever is the understanding between them. And the economic risks, of course, may be shared by both the parties. So this is it for today's class. It's just an introductory class. And in brief, we have. if you have any questions, please ask me. In brief, we have dealt with the history, the story of airlines and the airport, how it progressed, how it evolved, and the, we went forward to study the structure of the airline industry and mostly across the globe, the airports as well as airlines have been privatized. So any questions?
Okay, if not, so this is your attendance. So I'll, I'll grant you your attendance. Okay, and assignment, just a gentle reminder on the assignment. Okay, so the last date for submission of assignment is the 30th of this month, 30th of September, 2022. And uh, it has to be submitted on time. Please endeavor to submit it on time. Late submissions would carry deduction of one mark per day of default. Cut, copy, paste is not permitted. Of course, from the websites or even from the textbooks. And there is a particular format to be followed. Please follow that. And um, yes, after every class, your Google Classroom will be uploaded with this PPT presentation as well as some notes. Okay, you'll be getting some notes. And of course, you'll have PPT presentation and of course, this video recording as well, so that you can refer to it anytime in case you want to, you know, just refresh your memory or while you're studying. So all these, uh, you know, um, for your reference, uh, the, the recording, the video recording, the PPT presentation, as well as notes will be uploaded shortly. In fact, every time it will be the same day. The last part that I want to remind you again is, uh, don't ask me again and again, like for all, I'm telling all the students, of course, um, don't ask me again and again, like when are the classes going to be? Don't send me any messages regarding that because the simple answer to this is for this class, there is no variation. And by God's grace, we are going to meet every Tuesday, 8.15 8, 8 your time. Yeah, 8.15 your time according to your time zone. Okay, thank you so much and bye-bye. See you next class next Tuesday. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.